Hi, Corey Nikoluk here with First Tactical. I'm here at SHOT Show 2020. I'm here to show you the Tactics 1.0 Day Pack Plus. So this backpack, first of all, constructed with 500D nylon, all laser cut with a special binder, gives you 20% stronger, 20% lighter weight than traditional Molly. This is on the full side and the full front, all 100% usable platform. Secondly, all of our compression straps are removable and replaceable, so you can now take your compression straps and move them anywhere you want to on the backpack. Next, in the world of backpacks, I like to say there's two types of users. You have need freaks and you have dumpers. Well, I try to create a pack that really accommodates both users. So in the very front, before you get to the highly detailed organizer, is the macro organizers. Rather than just doing a slash pocket, you have these two L-shaped pockets with macro organization. Business cards, cell phone cables, you know, power bricks, all those little things you need to get to periodically during the day, they can go right in these two pockets, even a makeshift water bottle pocket. Now, you move down, you get the highly functional organizer pocket. All light color, extra reinforced in the front so it's easy to slide things in and out. Small, medium, and large pockets, oversized, with a zipper pocket. Now, all of our bags come with a removable key fob, which is a nice feature. Again, goes into our pants and our jackets. They have a nice little clip in. Also clip your keys when you're on duty, right into your backpacks, you always know where they're at. And a stationary key fob. Now as you move up, conceal carry pocket behind all of the organization so it doesn't print. Full feature with that organizer inside. Now as you move up to the top, you have that small dump pocket that's right up on top. It catches all those little things, including those little things like my lip balm that my wife always makes me carry. goes right in that pocket. You'll notice that in these areas where there's a lot of zipper pulls, I know exactly what zipper I'm getting in and out of. Based on texture alone, I know that all my more important pockets have that textured zipper pull, and then the low, less important details are on the knotted pull, so I can tell where I'm getting in and out of my bag. Now, I like to brag. Some backpacks say that they open up 180 degrees. I like to say that our backpack opens up to be 190 degrees, so you can see everything on the inside. Okay, up on the lid, Velcro pockets, so in case you want to pack them as an IFAC, you can throw them to whoever you need. And if you don't like those there, no problem, they get Velcro right in the back of the bag. That's all Velcro platform in the very back. Up on the top, this entire Velcro is also Molly Loop, so I can now take a 6'6 padded pouch, put my binos there without an issue. Now, vertical pockets here, so if I need to, when my bag is zipped up, I can get in and out of that without having to get into all of my bag. I can open up my zipper and get that little snack that I need. On the side of the main compartment, I have two organizer pockets, so it's not only organizing up, but it's also organizing tall. Up in the very top of the backpack, we have a fleece line pocket. Now that's designed to hang as a hammock pocket, not as a hanging pocket, so your sunglasses don't get crushed. Up on top, reinforcement on the top handle. As you move back, you have a secondary compartment about an inch thick. This pocket up on top has two G hooks. So this is our hook and hang through pocket, which you can now hook up computer bags, um, range kit. You can put in uh, your breaching kit in there, organize it the way you need to, hydration. But this also has a secondary zipper, which goes all the way through the bottom. You unlock it, zip it, and it goes all the way through. So now I can take any one of our rifle sleeves, pull it all the way through and hook it up. And now your backpack becomes a weapons transport. Use that side handle now to make this into um, a complete kit. As you move to the back of the pack, you have a nice yoke system. So the yoke system moves up and down depending on the height of your body. You can crank it down for shorter people or let it out for taller people. The yoke handle is adjustable, so it adjusts left and right, keeping those straps the appropriate distance on your back, okay? The webbing is all high grade, easy to work through all the loops. The mesh itself, is Velcro resistant. The foam, dual density, thick up on top, thin down below, hydration holder. Now, the sternum strap. The sternum strap allows you to move it up and down on the fly to keep it comfortable. 
but it's scalloped at the top so I can pull that all the way off and all the way back on. In case I don't eat it, unlike any other pack, you can't do that. You have to cut that area to get it back on. Now, with the compression straps that are removable, one important area is that if you happen to break this buckle, it's a bad day. So now, as long as that loop's in place, I can take this, take my compression strap, put it in place, and I'm ready to rock and roll again. Thumb loops and Velcro loop here. On the very back of the bag, you have vertical and horizontal venting. This goes through with a tunnel here with Velcro and buckles in place. So now you can take our Tactics waist belt, install it. So now it creates something that is now weight bearing. But when you're law enforcement, you don't need that belt. So we don't build it into the bag. And then lastly, our backboard. Our backboard pulls out and there's a multi-function backboard. Pull it all the way out. And now your backboard becomes a shovel, becomes a paddle in case you're caught up the creek. It becomes a splint. And now you can use your compression straps or it's also a mini C-spine. So you can get that person from a dangerous position to a less dangerous position until the EMS professionals get there. Thank you very much for your time. Tactics Backpack, we can't wait to get this on your back. Be safe.